We tape athletes' ankles in order to provide protection and prevention while they are practicing or during um, game events. So that makes sure that they don't roll it or prevent the injury from being worse than it could be. You always want to put a heel and lace pad down to help prevent from blisters. So one right where the laces would go and right, right where the heel would go. I usually use pre-wrap, not all athletic trainers will. This is just to cover and make it more comfortable for the athlete. From here, you will start with anchor strips at the top. I will do two. When you're taping for an outside ankle sprain, you always want to start on the inside for the stirrups. You're going to pull to the outside to prevent it from rolling in. You do two of those. I place an anchor on those to keep it nice and stable. Then I'm going to close the back part of the ankle up to prevent, again, from blisters. When you are placing tape down, you always want to make sure it covers half of it. From here, I'm going to start with a heel lock. And basically, what this is doing is locking in the heel. You can do a figure eight, which comes around the bottom of the foot and then goes up on the ankle. From here, you want to close it up to make sure that there are no holes and that it is a functional ankle taping. And then you close it up the top. There is a way to determine if there is a functional ankle tape job. Um, what you can do is you can actually cut off the ankle tape job, lift it up to a light, and see if there are any light spots or holes in the tape, and that will address the factor if it is a good tape job or not.